Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chiu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. So let's take a look at what the question is saying. So basically the question is saying, there is a circle inscribed within a right angle triangle. So what does the word inscribed mean? The word inscribed basically means every single side of the right angle triangle is touching the corner of the circle. As you can see, right? There are three points of contact. One over here, one over here, and one over here. Now, with that information, what we need to try to do is find the radius of the circle. So, if you see a right angle triangle, what usually immediately comes to mind? Pythagoras theorem, right? As you can see from the picture below, we have two sides of the triangle given to us. We're actually missing the hypotenuse length. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can actually very quickly find the last missing side of the triangle. So that's how we're going to start the question. So quick revision on Pythagoras theorem. It is a square plus b square equals to c square. So I'm just going to put in the values 5 square plus 12 square. If you work that out, that should give me 169. And this number right here, 169, is equal to c squared. So if c squared is 169, think about your square numbers. You should quite quickly be able to tell me that c is 13. So, cool. We found the last unknown side of the triangle. So I'm going to fill that in first. Now, at this point, we need to try to find the radius of the circle. And if you look at the three points I've highlighted on the figure, that might be just the way to do the question. We probably need to make use of those three points somehow. Now, if you think back to all those complicated geometry questions you've done, most of the time, you're going to have to draw a few extra lines. And in the case of this question, it's no different as well. So I'm going to show you the lines you have to draw. We have three points of contact, so I'm going to be drawing three lines. Now watch this. One line here to the center of the circle. One line here to the center of the circle. And one more line here to the center of the circle. So three points of contact, three lines. And the special thing about these three lines, they are all going to be right angles, just like that. Now that I've done this, I'm actually going to split this big triangle up into three smaller triangles. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So watch this. So I'm going to call this top triangle, triangle A, this triangle over here, triangle B, and triangle C right over here. If you look at these three triangles, what do we realize? All three triangles actually have the radius of the circle as its height. Look at this. This is the height of triangle A. This is the height of triangle B. And this is the height of triangle C. All three triangles have the radius of the circle as its height. Now, let's think about what equations we can use that makes use of the height of a triangle somehow. What about the area of a triangle? So, let's look at the super big triangle first. I can easily calculate its area, right? That will just be half times base, which is 12, times height, which is 5. That will give me 30 cm squared. This is the area of big triangle. And if you notice here, I've split the big triangle up into three smaller parts, which means if I add the area of the three smaller parts together, I should get back my area of the big triangle. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Half times 5 times radius, since that's the height of triangle B, right? Plus half times base times radius again, since that's the height of triangle A, plus finally, half times 
base times radius. Again, since that's the height of triangle C. I'm going to simplify this slightly. That will be 2.5R plus 6.5R plus 6R. And I'm going to continue doing the additions of this together. That will give me 15R. That's equals to 30 cm squared. Which means, what is R? R is 30 divided by 15. And that's going to give me 2 cm. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.